The next guest on Smarter San Diego TV is making her first appearance on the orange carpet. Please welcome property matchmaker Priscilla Rodriguez and her talented photographer Eddie Flores. All right, welcome to the show, guys. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. All right, this is my favorite subject matter, by the way, marketing. One of ours too. Right? <laughs> Must <goal>. be. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That way. Um, so, Priscilla. Yes. Tell us uh, a little bit about yourself and your brand, and uh, tell us why you wanted to bring Eddie today. Um, well, I've been focusing a lot on marketing. Um, I really like to think outside of the box. And um, recently I collaborated with Eddie probably about two years ago. And we've been doing a Non -stop. few, yeah, Non -stop. A few um, pretty different, fun, entertaining kind of marketing pieces. So um, I've been in the industry already 12 years and just wanted to take um, marketing and also this industry into a different level. Okay. Very cool stuff. So the pictures that we see of you on your website and your emails, that's Eddie's work? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. So she does keep you busy then. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah definitely <laughs> uh, one of my best clients. I'm not going to lie. We do a lot of stuff and we have a good relationship just kind of teaming up and knowing what each other wants. So it's pretty awesome. Very cool stuff. Definitely. Um, so tell us about the Tea Party Open House. Ah. Oh yeah, that was um, brought um, together by another assistant of mine that I have working with me. Her name is Gemma, and um, we wanted to start collaborating with local businesses. Um, this is a way of just like promoting each other. Um, typically, when you go to an open house, you have pizza and soft drinks. So we wanted to do something a little more different. So we offered pre premium loose tea um, sampling and also their benefits. So we made it's a big a, event about it. It's a tea which party. Was I know. Tea party. Was, <laughs> wasn't kidding. How about that? Yeah. I know. Back a tea Invite party. Invite me next time. Ah. <laughs> She's English. <laughs> I'm not going to attempt to do it. I was going to do it. I'll butcher that. Very cool. So the idea was basically be different. Absolutely. And that's important in marketing. You know, and then later on um, throughout the weeks, I would, you know, run into uh, clients and friends and, you know, that kind of branding, that kind of marketing stuck. And, you know, th I would get offered, like, when are you going to have the next tea party? Nice. I'm definitely going to go. I'm excited. So it's just always keeping things, you know, interesting. Yeah. Interesting and different. different. Like you said, just doing something outside the box, like she said, is very critical because you see the same stuff over and over again. A lot of real estate agents just doing the typical campaigns like open house, blah, blah, blah. Same stuff. But if you mix it up, it really sticks you outside of that box where people go, well, what is that? And the key is, a lot of people don't mention this, is consistency. And that's what the key to real marketing is, is if you keep doing that again and again and again. Good content always will win time and time again and all that stuff. So yeah. that's what I like about it. And that's what she's really good at. She yeah. doesn't just do it once a year. Yeah, that's great. right. <laughs> yeah. Well, also Definitely. with that property, it happened to be located in like East Lake Vistas and there are beautiful trails and parks there. So then Eddie and I decided to do something called like a lifestyle shoot as well. You know, the type of lifestyle you'll be living in that home. You know, it's not just the house and its features. It's also the type of, you know, um, environment you're yeah. going to be placed in. Yeah, the ambiance, if you will. Yes. The aura of the property. <laughs> um, so being different is important. Absolutely. Making an emotional connection is also something that you mm -hmm. strive for. Tell us about that. Um, well, on my latest listing, I decided to put together more of a story, um, putting people in the home as a character in the home and um, also featuring the house. So the house becomes alive at this point. It's not it just, you know, a living room, not just a kitchen, not just a backyard, you know, people actually start putting themselves in that home. And you're showing it to them. Mm -hmm. Instead of them tra having to picture it, they get a starting point, so to speak. Exactly. Yes. And that emotional connection is really important because that's really how people buy things. I mean, it's been tested over and over and over. Mm -hmm. People buy things or acquire things or want things usually based on some sort of emotional connection. Especially when you're buying a house. I oh, mean, yeah. you're definitely, you know, buying something because you know, you're drawn to it, you know, out of your heart. So, and that's where you're going to have your family. That's where, you know, you're going to be staying there for some time. So definitely you have to, you know, hit that emotional connection with those clients and those people that are watching. Well, so. let me, let me turn this around on you, Eddie, because, you know, using photos and visuals, it sounds like something that it sounds good, you know, oh yeah, let's use great photography. Let's mm -hmm. use great pictures to try to sell these properties or to try to make it different. Yeah. But how do you, as a photographer, working on Priscilla's behalf in this situation, 
How do you do that consistently? That's got to be a challenge. Oh, it is. We all, <laughs> and that's the part about the teamwork that we have to do. Because if you keep doing uh, like the same campaigns over and over, like if you just kind of mix up the property and just do like a side shoot from that property, like a lifestyle shoot, it could get repetitive. So reinventing yourself over and over again is the challenge. And what we like to do is uh, collaborate with other team members that we have just to kind of do uh, different campaigns and ideas. And one of the things that we're pretty good at is really just throwing ideas out there and making them come to life. Like one of the things we did recently was that Halloween shoot that we did. With our babies. Yes, furry with babies. our furry babies. Yeah. Uh, so we got uh, <laughs> five, no, six, was it six dogs or five dogs? Um, I think it was six. Six dogs. Shot them separately and composited them all to one shot mm -hmm. just for an email newsletter campaign. So that's the detail that we put into it. We really strive for uh, separating ourselves just by doing little things different and just telling stories and again, Keeping consistency, it fun too. consistency and fun. That's what we really like to do. Yeah, I know way. Priscilla, I know you like to get into costume or you know, <laughs> you're, you're, uh, <laughs> I say costume around <laughs> Halloween, um, but uh, you're, you're always, you know, doing, getting into different characters yourself for these shoots. Definitely. Yeah, it's fun. You like to be in it. Like you, you showing people like, hey, I'm, I'm in this thing. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, because, um, you know, then it, at that point, it just becomes a little more alive. I think, you know, versus just showing them an object. You know, you want to create that that type of lifestyle that they're going to have. Let's let's talk about that because you have a motto, a slogan, whatever you want to call it, your mm -hmm. property matchmaker. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, you believe that's really important for people um, to do in order to market themselves. Why do you think that's so important? Um, because when you're working with somebody, you have to feel comfortable with them. And if you have a slogan that they already feel drawn to, and I think that's where marketing does come into place because at that point you're attracting people versus trying to sell people on you. So marketing, when it comes to mottos, your property matchmaker, I've been working with first time home buyers for quite some time, so at this point I just pretty much meet, meet the person, have an idea where they're going, um, whether this is gonna be a first time, um, First time home buyer purchasing, you know, maybe a small condo or, you know, maybe it's already a first time home buyer that already has a family. So at that point, you kind of have to know who you're working with. And that comes with experience and also, you know, coining up some fun stuff. Totally makes sense. Great yeah. stuff. Thank you guys so much for coming today. Really appreciate your time. Stick around for more Smarter San Diego TV, where we guarantee to make you smarter than everyone else commercial free. <laughs>